my two leg. We're here in Australia. I like that. Okay, everybody, we're here in Australia and we are sampling our first house. And I don't know how to do the accent if I don't do it like this. That's that's Beak. Good. That'll be the intro. <laughs> yeah. Now, anybody that knows anything about Australia knows that there's a lot of venomous creatures here. Everything could kill you. <laughs> that's what everybody says when we left. Heading to our first house to do some sampling. We're here with the bug team trying to figure out if actually everything can kill you. Australia holds an impressive reputation for deadly creatures. Offshore, sharks. In rivers, crocodiles. On land, some of the most deadly snakes. There are lethal jellyfish, octopus, toads, cone snails, plants, deadly spiders. It almost seems like everything is out to get you. So now we're gonna go explore the diversity of bugs we find in houses, see if we find anything exciting and dangerous there. Michelle and her team from Cal Academy have been traveling to every continent in part to see how people live with the arthropods in their home. So far, San Francisco, Sweden, Peru, Japan, and now, the land down under. The house we're headed to is so deep in the bush that we've got to we'll just kind of rough it out here in the back of this truck. Now the truth is, venomous creatures live in every single house all over the world. Um, all spiders are venomous, ants are venomous, uh, centipedes are often found indoors, they love living with humans. So these are all kind of like the top predators in houses. So it's probably useful to know that we all live and have been living our whole lives with venomous right, creatures. <laughs> Just collecting every living or dead thing we find? Okay, great. Come on in. Now the real work begins. We'll enter the houses, trying to understand both what arthropods are in them and how the residents view these co-inhabitants. When you put the lights on, you get all the bugs. They've got bees over here. They've got chickens here. They're totally self-sufficient. We do have a lot of cockroaches. Oh, great, great. Um, I'm going to give them the chooks. I love them. You want to see the chooks eat, huh? Under this thing will be full of cockroaches. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No one here seems concerned at all about the many yeah. things that are aiming to kill them. Yeah, no. There's Arnold the Toad, uh, the green frog. He's a big fellow. He's very old. He normally lives in the loo, believe it or not. What? So believe it or not, in human houses all over the world, we're all living with venomous creatures. They are, are what I like to consider just benign roommates, right? They have, most of them, the vast majority, don't really have a, a negative impact on our daily lives. There are a couple species to be cautious of. And you're all very familiar with the black widow. There's a relative here that's similar, the redback spider. But human interactions with those potentially dangerous species are really pretty rare. The vast majority of spiders in houses really aren't harmful to humans. They're harmful to the other insects and arthropods that they're catching and eating. Their venom is really dangerous for those prey species. So actually one of the most common groups of spiders in houses are what we call the fulcids. In the United States we call them cellar spiders here. I think they call them daddy long legs. They're really long-legged, uh, kind of small, thin bodies. There's a myth that these fulcids may be really dangerous, that they have a really toxic venom. Um, but the truth is they're largely harmless. They actually prey on the redback spider here in Australia, so they do a great service in houses in, in one sense. So like these cellar spiders, the ants and the centipedes, which are all venomous, are actually the top predators in households. They help complete a food web inside our houses, and having them helps make sure other species don't get out of control. And they're really not dangerous to us. If anything, it's clear that their venom is used mostly on other organisms and ends up benefiting us. Most dangerous animal you'll find in your house or anywhere in the planet to humans uh, is the mosquito. And I've just found several in this house here. According to a recent study, mosquitoes, which aren't venomous, are actually responsible for killing roughly 725,000 people every year. So maybe we're a bit paranoid about the wrong creatures. And maybe some of that paranoia is simply because of a misunderstanding we have of the arthropod community in our own homes. You know, when we think of unexplored places on the Earth, we always think of, you know, the bottom of the ocean or the depths of the rainforest. But even these very familiar common places are still places where there's a lot to be discovered. So the next time you plan a visit to the Australian bush or some tropical Australian beach, don't worry about the arthropods that surround you. And here's the kicker and the last point I'll make. Sure, a lot of the arthropods here we know have venoms. 
But as we're realizing, that's the case all over the world. And the people that live with these animals day to day don't seem to worry. It's part of a food web that actually connects us to the natural world, makes us healthier. Instead, we should marvel at the fact that these arthropods are part of an ancient relationship with humans. And I think we should be really glad that scientists like Michelle's team are eagerly trying to understand them. Thanks for watching that short. I'll leave more info down below in the description. See you next video. There they are, guys. This is a death adder. Come across a death adder. Well, that, that's Rob's superpower. We talked about that. <laughs> He's got him. See? <laughs>